Jamie Oliver is in Berlin to promote his latest book. During the last two decades, the British chef has influenced cooking like no one else. And he's done so without having any of the classic culinary honours, like Michelin stars. It doesn't have to be gourmet or Michelin to be at the same level. I think like fashion or art or music, I think I like simple food, I like rustic food, I like food that makes you feel comfortable, that food that disarms you uh, or intrigues you. Um, I don't really like to try and control nature too much. I, I, I love to not touch it too much. Um, probably more effort goes into buying and finding the food than mucking around with it. Um, but I love it. Jamie Oliver has already published some 20 cookbooks. His latest one focuses on wholesome nutrition. It contains 90 recipes that use superfoods, foods that are especially rich in vital nutrients. And he's brought some samples specially whipped up for the book presentation. Jamie favors simple preparation methods to get more people eating more wholesome foods. But the superfood trend is not brand new. Superfoods have been around for, you know, five, ten years, but no one communicates food like I do in 110 countries around the world on 220 platforms. So, like, you know, you could say I'm jumping on a bandwagon. Well, I don't follow anyone, honestly. Like, that, my inspiration is driven by the public and my experiences. But also, um, it's kind of also confirmation of saying, well done, guys. You know, because I wouldn't have done it without the people that have done it for the last five or ten years. And so I... If I am jumping on the bandwagon, I'm very proud to, and good on them, and hopefully we can get their beliefs and their values to millions more people. Jamie Oliver turned 40 this year. He can look back on an unparalleled career. Born in the county of Essex in England, he learned to cook at his father's pub. He became known to the public in 1999 through his cooking show, The Naked Chef. Jamie's easygoing manner and loose tongue made it a complete contrast to traditional cooking shows. His cookbook, also titled The Naked Chef, became an instant bestseller the world over. Yeah. I say, like, David Bellamy, I'm the wolf, you know, just shove it all in there, you know? What happened 17 years ago was not normal. You know, The Naked Chef, when it kicked off, even in Germany, was crazy. Um, and... Uh, it was like a moment in time, it was just like a new generation of cooks, you know, and, and, and slightly more feminine, slightly more natural, a little bit scruffier, a bit, a bit more about what happens, like food in the home, and less about the restaurant. Um, but most importantly, I started having conversations with the public. Today, Jamie Oliver presides over a culinary empire. Along with his many television programs, he has several YouTube channels with almost two million subscribers. Magazines, kitchen utensils and restaurants all bear his name. <laughs> Jamie presents himself as the approachable celebrity chef. For his 40th birthday, his staff staged a parade in London. Jamie Oliver has made cooking more accessible to the masses. Cooking used to have a frumpy image. I think Jamie Oliver contributed a lot to making cooking seem young and hip, something that's fun. And so people really felt like buying a cookbook again. And his program drew a lot of young people to cooking. He also fights for more wholesome school lunches. I think he's made a great contribution to that, and that's important. A father of four, Oliver regards himself as an ambassador for good nutrition. In 2005, he launched a campaign called Feed Me Better, advocating better school lunches. Now he's also campaigning against excessive sugar in our diet. The world's changed quite a lot in 40 years. You know, um, the way you're marketed to, the options you have, the price, the things that are right in front of you. Everything that's right in front of you, nine times out of ten, nine and a half times out of ten are the wrong things that you need for your body. So, like, more than ever, I believe it's a child's human right to learn how to cook and to grow in school, even in Germany. 
When the British cook appears in public, he's celebrated like a pop star. Jamie Oliver, a star chef without any Michelin stars, but with plenty of vision. 